on this episode of the Fab Forms. We got the hot rod back from the show and we got some new shop upgrades. This episode of the Fab Forms is brought to you by Northern Tool and Equipment. Northern Tool and Equipment is family owned with over 120 stores nationwide. It's a great place to gear up providing service for hardworking pros and serious DIYers. Northern Tool and Equipment also provides expert parts and service plus a repair team in all stores who can get your equipment tuned up and running right. Visit northerntool.com for a store near you or just shop online. So in the last episode, I was getting this thing ready for Foxtoberfest. Uh, took that thing up to Charlotte. Great show. I think there ended up being like 715 Fox bodies show up for that show. They were very, very kind to us. We had a really good spot and a lot of attention on this. If you actually made it to the show, you've seen that we brought Chad Bibb's car, who's the guy that basically spawned the creation of this. So a buddy of mine bought Chad's car after he passed away, went through it, redid the whole thing. It's a beautiful car. So we brought it and kind of had them side by side. Dad, you said you mm -hmm. would get us some nails and some hammers. We're gonna open it up. Come here, you gotta drag it out first. Let me show you how to work this thing. Uh-huh. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Right there. Uh, all right, good job. Go, cut it. Damn. No. Strong enough. Woo! It looks like a rail. Looks like a space suit, don't it? Yeah. yeah. Not to show you. Let's uh. Let's do what? Oh, it's a part of a rocket ship. Got a new piece of equipment. A big 48 inch abrasive blast cabinet. Ah! So this thing is super rad. This came from Northern Tool and Equipment. Um, I mean, it's so easy to get this stuff from them. You just go to northerntool.com. You just click the buy button. Next thing you know, you got a shipping company calling you and they're delivering it to your door. It's really, really that easy. I ended up going with this particular unit because it's got doors on both sides. So you can fit some long pieces in there. You can kind of get it in from both sides. And then it also has where you can basically open up this front piece. If I can. So yeah, so you can fit big parts in this way or you know, just put them in the doors. I looked at a lot of different units. I really wanted something I could fit big parts in so I wouldn't be limited by size. Uh, I read a lot, a lot of reviews on these things and they all had great reviews. I mean, you have the occasional, man, this thing was hard to put together or something like that. But I mean, this one here, my, my youngest daughter basically put this thing together. So it was super easy, comes in a crate, almost fully assembled. You got to kind of put the legs on it and the light and stuff like that. 
So this one comes with a dust canister. So it's got a motor up here with a filter in there. And basically it just sucks, you know, sucks air out of the cabinet. It actually creates negative pressure on this thing. So you don't have dust flying out the doors and landing on all your projects. Um, and then it's got a little thing where you can knock the dust off of the filter and also has a piece on the bottom where when it gets full, you can just open this flap, kind of recycle any kind of materials that might be in there or just toss it and it just kicks on. Let me turn the light on. So super nice, got its own regulator. And then I went with uh, some black oxide, aluminum oxide and 70 grit for this thing. I really wanted it to kind of get after it. Mainly what I'll be using it for is to kind of condition things to coat. You know, if you're gonna coat it with some Cerakote or something uh, or to clean. So for instance, I was kind of working on, so this is a tire tool out of Caliente. It was all rusty and corroded. And so I just went after it with um, some of that abrasive and uh, it really gets the job done. It, it does, does work real fast, which is what I wanted. The aluminum oxide is a little more expensive. Actually, it's a lot more expensive than some of the other stuff, but um, I mean, it's worth it. It's gonna last longer, it has less dust, doesn't break down as fast, and it really cuts that, you know, cuts through any kind of grime or paint or anything like that. So it's kind of what I wanted. And I got to try out my new air system. So, you know, I can just kind of charge these things as I, as I need to. I don't have all the air on. I can kind of flip this thing up, run it. Uh, I had some line in here. I don't really care for the color, but it works for now. I may either change it or I don't know, paint it or something. So anyway, stay tuned, more stuff coming on this. I'm gonna kind of show you how versatile this machine is. I'm actually gonna use it to kind of etch some stuff, maybe etch some stainless. Um, you could probably etch glass with this thing. I'm gonna etch my logo and some stuff for the Bibster. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be cool. We're gonna do a lot of stuff other than just clean things. So stay tuned for those videos. What was rad on this thing too is because it came assembled, they actually use silicone in all the joints. So it's super sealed. You know, all I did basically was put the doors on, the legs on, mounted the regulator, um, had to mount the light and the dust canister. But other than that, this thing was, this thing was together already. Also comes with extra protectors for the glass or plexi. I guess this stuff will etch after a while. You just basically peel off this inner piece, stick a new one on. It comes with some for the light as well. So that'll be nice. This thing also came with this clear media tube. So you can kind of see if media is flowing through it. You know, if there's a clog or something, um, also has an adjuster on it. So you can kind of adjust how much media is coming through there along with a big opening. So you can kind of flip this thing open, drain all the media out of it into a bucket or whatever. If you wanted to replace it with something else, say some walnut shells or some sand. And then when you want to get rid of that, you can drain that, put your black aluminum oxide back in there. So it makes life pretty easy. And then it's just activated by a foot pedal. So you just push that. You can adjust your pressure over here on the regulator. Yeah. The only thing I did was I added this tube here. This just makes it to where I can slide the pallet pallet jacks up underneath it. This is the same height as the backside. So I can slide the pallet jacks up underneath it, pick the whole thing up, move it around if I want to. I kind of designed everything in the shop where I can move around with pallet jacks for cleaning purposes and pick it up, move it. Or, you know, if I just want to reorganize, move some things around, I can do that. Makes it easy. You can move stuff around. All my tables, everything really is set up to where these, these pallet jacks can pick it up, move it. I can clean, put it back where I need to. And um, yeah. I don't have nothing permanent, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, there you go. Some more equipment in the shop. Northern Tool and Equipment comes in clutch once again. Air system's awesome. Been using the heck out of that thing. And uh, we're getting back on the Bibster. Some more content on this Media Blaster very soon. Stay tuned. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys soon. Go do work, son.